Hi, clarinet friends, Ms. Vogt here. Let's talk about Barcarolle. It's on page 28 of your book. It is 4.12. Now they're teaching us a new note in this tune and it is E flat. Now there are a couple ways to play E flat. I'm gonna teach you the way that is preferred or the one that we'll learn first. If you push two fingers down in your thumb, normally that would be D, but we're gonna add the bottom of the stack. See this stack of keys on the side that looks like that? So two fingers and then we add that bottom one. So here's D. Did you hear how it changed when I pressed that bottom one down? That's called E flat. Okay, so that's the new note that we learn in this tune. It's kind of tricky for clarinet friends. You really have to kind of think about it because it's doing something we're not used to. All right, let's go back and talk about the tune itself. I see a flat at the very beginning, which would be B flat for us. But as I look through the tune, there aren't any Bs. So we don't even have to worry about that. Yes. When I look through, I see a lot of E flats though. So we will need to use that bottom stack key for the note E flat. The next thing I notice is we have three, four time for our time signature. Three beats in a measure instead of four. That's kind of different. We're not used to three, but it's not really that hard for us. Okay, and the next thing is it says moderato. So medium speed. Now three, four time, even though it's not really that different than four, feels a little bit different. So I'm gonna play a tiny bit of the very beginning, see if you can get that feel for one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this is the very beginning. Listen, one, two, three. Do you hear how that feels kind of a little bit off center? It feels like it's kind of almost syncopated, but not really. We're not used to playing odd numbers of three. We're used to playing four, four time or two, four time. All right, now let's go back real quickly and talk about slurs. A slur means you tongue the beginning of the notes that have the slur and you don't tongue the note underneath it. So if you noticed when I started the beginning of this, So I tongue the beginning of each set. So that's a little bit confusing. Um, and then at the very end of this tune, we have what's called a tie. Now a tie is also a line under the notes. Here's the difference, you ready? A tie connects notes of the same pitch. A slur connects notes of different pitches. So when we have a tie at the end, that D that's tied to another D is three beats for the dotted half note and two beats for the half note. We add them together, three plus two is five. That last note will get five counts. That's a lot of information and a lot of things in this short little tune. It also happens to have a repeat sign. For right now, we're not going to repeat. Feel free to do that at home while you're practicing. So we're gonna go from the very beginning. We have to start out mezzo piano. There's a crescendo in there to a mezzo forte and then there's a decrescendo to a mezzo piano. So the dynamics, how loud and soft we play, it's kind of like the icing on the cake. So when we've got the notes down and you've got the rhythms, go back and add in the dynamics. All right, we're gonna start from the very beginning. We won't go very quickly. Moderato means medium speed, moderately. All right, I'm gonna give three counts and then we're gonna start. Okay, see if you can really watch for that side key, that E flat key. All right, here we go. Beginning, I'll give you three. One, two, three. And you can repeat if you'd like. I would work this tune kind of in small chunks, just practicing my E flat and really thinking about your tonguing and your slurring, when you're supposed to slur and when you're not supposed to slur. All right, good luck everybody. Practice those E flats.